And the BAFTA goes to Bernie Davis, David Cole, Kevin Duff and Patrick Doherty for Royal British Legion, the Festival of Remembrance 2016. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is David Cole. I'm a musician. I work for the Royal British Legion, who are the custodians of remembrance in this country. Every year we put on at the Royal Abbot Hall, you know, the Festival of Remembrance. We recognise the great sacrifice our military give in all the conflicts around the world. We look after the families. We look after everybody who's there and try and portray to the country how great this country is. But we don't do it alone. We've got Patrick up here, we've got Bernie, we've got Kevin. But behind us is a great team of over 100 people. The BBC now produce it, with Claire Popperwell sitting down there, executive producer, <laughs> Catherine Sturk, the producer, Rasheen, another producer, and Gary Ryan from the Royal British Legion is here with us tonight. We are very proud, and I am absolutely honoured to have this reward on behalf of the complete team for the Royal British Legion Festival of Remembrance. Thank you very much indeed. I think, um, I think David has summed it up really, but I'd like to thank Claire Popperwell because without her vision, I don't think we'd all be here. And um, my dad said to me a long time ago, do something in life that you love because you've been doing it a long time. And, uh, I'm very lucky I do. So thank you very much to BAFTA. Thank you. Um, such an important... Sorry, issue. One, I did this last time. <laughs> I forgot to thank my wife. Oh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> thank you, Harriet. Mistake. Such an important show. Really honoured to be involved in it. Thank you to BAFTA. Thank you to the BBC. And thank you to my sound team who worked so hard for me. Thank you. I'd just like to say, and I speak for everybody who works on the show, that it's a very humbling and moving show to work on and a great privilege, and uh, I'm very grateful to have been a part of it. Thank you. Winners of the Entertainment Craft Team Award, many, many congratulations. We've squeezed you all on the sofa. You're just about in there. Um, what, what an award to win. Like, this is kind of the, uh, this is the big one, right? This, feels, this must no, feel good. This is amazing. I think it's such such an honour. We need to talk about the fact that it's um, such a historically significant uh, event and, 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 and programme that, that you were making. Does that provide its own challenges? I think, I think um, one of the things that's most important about that show is that it feel, it's sympathetic to the stories that it tells and, um, and, and everything has to, ha has to be part of that. That's the most important thing really and everything around it. Uh, uh, leads to that. So I think, you know, it's an, it's an extraordinarily sensitive show and to be part of something that's such a collective team is, is really important. It's nice to have all of you here. Um, talk to me a bit about how you collaborate and, and, and how you work together. Um, the show's done uh, unbelievably in only three days really uh, from going no. into the Albert Hall. Um, it's one of the fastest shows that we produce uh, and if you can imagine the, the thousands of military personnel that are involved, we all have to hit the ground running. Um, and we've kind of got to a really nice place now. I mean, uh, I'm relatively new to this. I mean, a lot of the guys have been doing this a lot longer than I have. Um, but it's a wonderfully collaborative experience now. Um, and I think personally, me and I'm sure the others would agree, I feel quite a sense of risk, a real sense of responsibility for this show. It means so much to so many people. And we all make a lot of television. Um, this one particularly, uh, I'm always really keen that it goes as smooth as it can on the night because it means so much and to see the individual people in the Albert Hall and to see what it means to them, you get a sense of the responsibility. That, you know, yeah, when you there's know. so much emotion involved, I mean obviously when you're making television no matter what the genre, you're trying to um, elicit an emotional response but this is obviously something completely different. Um, is it, did you, do you also feel there's a kind of weight on your shoulders for that reason? Yeah, it's certainly important to, uh, to, to gauge the mood correctly. 
I, when I first started working on Festival of Remembrance, this, is, this was my 18th year doing it, um, I didn't understand at first exactly what the show was. It seemed to be almost a contradiction that it was entertainment, and yet it's talking about people who have died or lost limbs, uh, lost loved ones, and I couldn't quite put the two together. And then I realised the background to it of people coming home from the war and that joint want to celebrate and commemorate and that's exactly what this is and um, it's always a really humbling thing to to see these people who have done so much for the country and to see the fantastic work done by the British Legion it's um, every year it's very moving very humbling mm. so in many ways this award I think is uh, to represent the sensitivity and the kind of the delicate hand that you that you had in, in making this and dealing with this subject matter so massive massive congratulations and, and also you know it's, it's a it's a it's a it's a 21st century show and so you want it to feel contemporary but you don't want to disrespect the things that have gone before so I think Bernie and, and the boys are right that you know it's it's just an honor to be part of it wonderful and how are you going to celebrate now <laughs> <laughs> you've already begun I think that's what that point means it's already started <laughs> thank you boys thank, thank you. you so much thank you.